Let's see how to create this pad sound. Let's start by having two oscillators running at the same time. So we have oscillator one and oscillator two. Both of them are going to be um, so tooth, but I'm gonna do something um, like this. I'm gonna have uh, the second oscillator tuned seven semitones up. That's kind of creating a chord. So this gives me a bit of, you know, fullness to the sound and you can play with that to your likings I mean whatever you want and let's go back to oscillator one and I'll actually have let's say three voices let's go to voices here and spread that and detune the spread right so we already have a more interesting sound next let's have a quick run with the filters so I'll engage filter one and as you can see we can uh, we can tune that to whatever initial point we want eventually I'll automate this with an envelope to create some evolving sounds something like this but we before we continue let's uh, let's give uh, the envelope a bit of uh, attention here so right now when i'm playing the sound starts and then it stops immediately when i uh, remove my finger from the keyboard so let's do this we can snap the um, the envelope to our grid and we'll sync it and now we'll have those lines here and since this is going to be a pad, let's have the attack longer and have some kind of a slope here that it will be slowly evolving. But I also want to have some play with the decay here. So I'll show you something. Let's uh, set the decay time and we'll have something like this. We'll snap it to the grid. And now let's have a listen. So the attack could be, uh, you know, less. Very nice. And we can set the release time for a longer, um, you know, longer. And even longer. Yeah, something like this, and we can play with that until we're satisfied. And again, we can tune the uh, the filter. Now we can add some uh, more drive into the filter and even some distortion. It's up to you. So uh, let's do this way too much so let's leave that no distortion next we can add the distortion right here in the chain so I've engaged this and we can go to effects distortion and mix that let's go back and enable the ensemble so this is kind of a chorus effect but it's too much so let's uh, have this just turn down just a bit let's go to ensemble and it's too much yeah so something like this all right next i want to have something going with our filter some automation something to move my f uh, filter around so i'm gonna do this i'm gonna go to ADSR 2. I'm going to drag this and drop it on the cutoff. But I want to get this very subtle, I mean, not something too, um, you know, too long. So it's as if we're automating the movement of this button across this uh, or along the, the arc here. Now we need to uh, kind of set up our um, 
our ADSR here. So again, I want to snap this and sync. And let's set the decay time to something that is more musical. And we can have this more, you know, the attack should be longer. So it is as if we're moving this button slower. And this drop here is basically what's creating that evolving and retreating sound. Right, so we're almost there and we can do some other stuff. Um, you know, it's it's really uh, a matter of, uh, you know, sound design preferences. You can add, for example, even layer two and we can engage layer two here. So this is too much, but we can have, um, for example, a sine wave. but we should be filtering that maybe. And we can have the, um, the envelope for this um, setup here. can have something completely different for example we can have something that is more plucky so um, we can set um, sustain level very low something like this. And again, what we can do is, for example, have some kind of a, uh, maybe delay here. So if we just isolate layer two, right, th so this is very subtle. So I can go to the FX and change here uh, to something uh, different, a little bit of a drive, and we can have more feedback, remove some of the low frequencies. Right, something like this. Now let's uh, have layer one engaged. So this really gives some uh, interest into our sound, something that is behind and uh, you know, just uh, riding over our main sound. Okay, okay, so this is it. That's the sound we wanted.